Hi, I want to take a moment just to talk about how important mulch is to the surface of soil. We've been here five years next month and in all that time we've not had a molehill, a single molehill down in this bottom part of the garden and this year we were fortunate enough to get a big pile of wood chip uh, over this well in the winter time that we've used in various places in the spring we had enough to put down some chip on top of cardboard on the paths in between these beds in the vegetable garden um, partly because you know the, managing the grass is interesting Charles Dowding talks a lot about path uh, edges or bed edges and the fact that they can attract slug and a good hiding place for slugs and such and that's certainly the case definitely the case here and of course these are uh, old scaffold boards these two beds were here when we arrived um, and we actually duplicated we've made more two more beds the same over there the long-term question we have is do we continue with that or do we because what Charles does is he has um, chip beds uh, chip paths uh, and then the beds in between you have to have enough chip and we're right at the end of a lane in the back end of nowhere so to get chip for us is really difficult nobody wants to bring it here because if they've got it and particularly if they can get paid for it they take it somewhere else we're the far end of anywhere but uh, when there is when there's tree work being done locally then uh, we've got access to this and we were able to this winter and it's amazing the difference because this path which was previously just fairly compacted grassy path because this whole area was uh, when we dug a hole to plant the tree that's here we discovered it's just a load of concrete blocks with a bit of soil chucked on top and some turf and uh, underneath here there's a whole warren of places for little rodents to run around we've got a lot of voles little holes coming up in the, the lawn which is why we put daffodils and mint around the tree here in particular to protect the roots against the voles but I don't know if you can see so this bed behind we mulched it with chip because we planted it with potatoes just as a way of uh, reducing evaporation uh, and so on and we've just actually cleared this corner bed here of first earlies but um, the <laughs> interestingly the soil is rising up in certain places and you'll see obviously here in front of me in between our onions um, so I don't know what's going on because I've sown some carrot in here but also these there's quite a lot of weedy plants in here um, but you can see how much clay there is in this soil and so these beds have been always been quite dense even though we try to move some of the clay into the other beds and put more compost in here uh, they have been pretty dense and obviously this is just also quite dense but suddenly this is like walking on a sponge <laughs> Well, a slightly spiky sponge because obviously the wood chip is a little bit sharp but uh, it's amazing that suddenly after five years of only ever seeing moles at the top where the soil is deep and we know that it's deep enough for moles to be active suddenly we've got a mole down here and we're very happy with that because um, they decompact the soil they're part of the drainage system they indicate that there are worms which is always a positive thing because if there wasn't food for them they wouldn't be here and uh, yeah all we've done is we've not done any digging or forking or anything like that we've just put some mulch down and the mulch has created the cooler conditions the moisture and given the mole obviously what it wants creating the right conditions for the worms and everything and they're doing the work of decompacting this ground rather than us having to do it ourselves.